Okay, what's up guys? Um, I'm gonna make this video quick because I don't want to make it super long. It ain't something that, like, it, that should be super long, but anyways. So I'm uh, uh, finding videos for my next Try Not To Laugh Challenge. And I'm scrolling through Vine, scrolling through Instagram. And uh, when I was on Instagram, that's where, that's when it all went down. So anyways, I'm scrolling through Instagram and I exited out so I could go on to Vine. But as I was exiting out, I noticed that uh, somebody had followed me. And so it was like right when I had exited out. So I'm all like, dang, I got to open this app back up again. So anyways, open it up. I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's going to be like a model, you know, because lately on my Instagram models, they will follow and then unfollow. And uh, or it could have just been a friend of mine that just created Instagram. But I was like, that's so rare. Like all of the friends that I'm friends that I'm cool with, they all I'm off. I'm following them all. They all got Instagrams. And so anyways, um, so I look and I'm thinking, oh, it's like a clothing brand or something. That's what I thought. That's what the username looked like. It looked like a clothing brand. So I'm like, I like going on to them because I like to see what kind of clothes that they have. I'm like, you know, I might be a fan follow then one day get some clothes from them. But anyways, I click on it. The, a drag queen, okay, just followed me on Instagram. I'm like so shocked. I'm not like, okay, wait a minute, time out, time out. Let's let's just let's just time out right now. Like blow referee, blow, blow the whistle because I don't know what just happened right now. A drag queen have just followed me on Instagram. So if you are at a young age and you don't know what a drag queen is, <laughs> it's a guy that dresses up as a female. Pretty much, they don't want to get the Caitlyn Jenner operation, so they just get some um, women clothing, women makeup, uh, a wig, and so on. So anyways, I'm all like, okay, let me just confirm this. All right, let me just go. So I was looking for a video of this person talking. I was looking for videos because I'm like, this person has to talk. They had to have a video of themselves talking so they can just confirm that they are a man. So anyways, I'm looking and I'm looking. And I've ca I came across like a couple of videos, no talking. Just like, you know, the like music, like videos that people like to do them, like many music videos. I'm like, that's so confusing when people do that crap. Just listen to the music and watch the video. Just but making your own. I'm so confused by that. But anyways, um, that should be like a separate video. Why do people make videos like them, like Vine or Instagram music videos? And it's like, no, stop it. But anyways, came across a photo. Dude had no shirt on. So I'm like, okay, confirmed. It's like, that's like, that was just like, it wasn't, that was like drag queen Illuminati right there. That was all confirmed. And so I'm like, okay, it's, it's confirmed. This is a man. All right. So anyways, if, the, if this is a woman, like the, this woman's chest was flatter than mine. So I'm just like, I was just kind of confused by it. But anyways, um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, this never happened to me before. Like a drag queen has never followed me on Instagram before. So I'm just kind of confused by the situation. Like, what do I do? Because if they comment and they ask for a follow, I'm, I'm probably not going to follow them because see, here's the thing. I have friends. Some of these friends might be nosy. And usually when you have nosy friends, they might come across you one day and they're going to want to see who do you follow or to see, you know, if I'm following a certain somebody. All right. So anyways, they're going to see this account. They might accidentally click on it or be like, oh, who is this? Or think along the lines like me, like, oh, is this a clothing brand? Click on it. See that I'm following a drag queen. Then they're going to question me about it out in public. Then I'm going to be hanging out with my friends and they're going to be like, oh, you followed a drag queen on uh, Instagram, didn't you? And I'm going to be like looking like this, like, oh, OK, you know, they they, they, they playing games. It's, it's, it's the time, time out. OK, you don't even know who I am to just walk up on me like that. But no, then I'm going to be all like, then I'm going to have to explain to my friends. Then my friends are going to roast me live and like right there on the spot and so on. And then I'm going to possibly, you know, I'm going to get mad, unfollow this person or start an argument underneath their photo. They're not going to probably know what's going on. And so I, I feel like it's best if I don't follow a drag queen just for that reason, okay? Because I know I got nosy friends and they're going to possibly come across some of my followers or the people that I'm following on Instagram. Followers don't really care about that, but people that I'm following, yes, that's going to be something potentially that's, that's going to do some harm to my following section. So, but it's like, other than that, it's like the reason why I don't, I'm not like, you know, because I'm shocked and then you're just like, are you supportive of drag queens and transgenders and all of that stuff? 
I'm not really, no, because I feel like, you know, God gave you you. When he was creating you, he gave you you. So for him, for your, for you to change it, like, yeah, I, I agree, you know, live your life, do what you want to do if you ain't hurting or killing anybody. But why change yourself? Why be this person that you know you're not? Just to like, you know, it's like, I feel like if you're not satisfied with yourself, you have to find things that are going to satisfy you to make you you. But changing, changing yourself, that's, I feel like that ain't satisfying anything. That's just taking like an easy way out. So I, I don't know, but it's like stuff like that. I'm not really all supportive of transgenders and drag queens and all of that stuff. Like, it's just, it's confusing to me. Like, I don't understand why people do that. Like, be yourself. Don't allow, you know, uh, comments from when you were a kid because that's how some of that stuff gets started. It's all like, oh, well, well, I was bullied as a kid for doing this. And it's like, then don't do it. Then don't live like that. Okay, but also don't live by their word. You are you. They are themselves. So live by yourself. Don't live by them and things. So it's just, I, I feel like that's the problem with people like that. But other than that, you know, do what you want to do in life. I'm going, like, how how would I react if one of my friends was a drag queen? Like, I don't know how I would react to, like, it's just, one of my friends just commented on my, because I posted this on Facebook and Twitter, I had to let the world know about this, and I'm posting on YouTube, but, um, how do, like, how do, because if one of my friends, if they just decide to be a drag queen or a transgender, it's like, if I, it's, it's different if I'm a friend with them, because it's all like, you know, I still know them as the person I did when I very first met them. But it's like, but what if I became friends with a drag queen? It's like, I first off, I won't even be in an area where there's going to be drag queens and transgenders. So don't even try to ask me that question. And what else? Um, uh, what else? I don't even know what else to talk about. Like, because I'm just kind of, my mind is like, there's so many files and paperwork just going through my head right now trying to figure out why did this just happen. So anyways, you guys comment below. How do you feel about, you know... Well how, well, how would you react if somebody, a drag queen, had followed you on social media? What would you do? Me, I'm just saying right now, they better not ask me for a follow because I will deny it. I will just press the red buzzer and I will just deny that. Like, I, I will not follow you. I'm sorry, but I just... I'm, I'm not, you know, into following drag queens. I don't have no plans on doing it. Unless they're like a funny comedian or something and they can make me laugh. But it looked like this was just, you know, a stunt double for a woman. And it's like, that's, I'm, I'm confused by it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, you guys comment below. How do you, how would you react to it? How do you feel about this situation? What would you do and stuff? And uh, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you are new, please like and subscribe. I know my hair, it's not like curly looking in my uh, other videos. But, um, because I didn't put like this, uh, like this uh, moisturizer stuff in it. So, yeah, it's just, this is like after shower hair right now. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching and peace.